white socks and white cycling shoes. Probably the classiest combination you can show up with on a bike ride. But not so much when your cycling shoes are super dirty. It's actually more of a major fashion faux pas. So how can you clean your white cycling shoes so they look like they're brand spanking new? Let's find out! Because I had absolutely no idea on how to clean cycling shoes, I decided to ask people on Instagram how they do it. And the most popular answer by far was to use a magic eraser or whitening toothpaste. So I'm gonna try to clean my cycling shoes using those two methods and see which one works best. Uh, my cycling shoes are super dirty. There's mud, dirt, grass, sand, ice cream, like they're super dirty. I don't wear them anymore because I'm kind of ashamed to take them out. Let's start cleaning them and hopefully we can find a way to like make them look as they are new again. So I went to the store and I grabbed a magic eraser and I've also grabbed whitening toothpaste. But before I even start, let me know in the comment section how you clean your white cycling shoes. I've got my magic eraser, my magic sheet, a little bit of water, toothpaste. So this one you can see there's like grass here, dirt, I don't know, like it, it's dirty, it's very dirty. I'm, I'm really ashamed of showing you this. It's even got like a tire mark here because one of my teammates ran into me into a crash. It wasn't his fault, but we'll see if we can get this um, off the shoe. I doubt, but we'll try anyway. And um, that's it. So let's get started. I'll try the magic eraser with a bit of water and see how it goes. Ooh. Wow. Well. This... <laughs> This is actually surprisingly satisfying. I think this is gonna work. Wow. Okay. So this is pretty clean already with only a few strokes of the magic eraser. So let's keep on cleaning the shoe. And um, well, actually, you know what? Before I keep cleaning my shoe with this, let's try the whitening toothpaste because it was suggested to me by some Instagram followers. And I'm pretty sure they're trolling me, but what if it works, you know? So this part of the shoe is quite dirty and <laughs> this is funny. Apply a bit of whitening toothpaste and... Well, it smells good. This works. <laughs> Amazing, like it, it... I was sure I was being trolled, but... Let's see if I can clean this area here. Wow. Can a magic razor clean a burn mark on a shoe. Well, it's cleaner, but I think this is burnt in the plastic. I doubt that I'll ever be able to remove it, but I'll keep working on it for a bit and uh, see how that goes. Wow, look at that. Pretty insane. So far, I think toothpaste as well as the magic eraser works really well. So now I'm wondering what happens if I'm putting toothpaste on the magic eraser. Okay, just for fun, we're gonna try combining the toothpaste and the magic eraser. If it helps cleaning like this area of the shoe. verdict is like a magic eraser with some whitening toothpaste works. So next step is trying to get this cleaned up 
So I'm gonna go and get some bleach and see if, if I can clean this. Like it, it's now I'm obsessed with how dirty it is. I'd also like to clean the stitches, which have a grayish color. So I just realized I don't have any bleach at home, but I found some OxyClean. Let me try that. Okay, so this actually works. Like this became kind of grayish, but it actually the holes that are dirty, I guess, but the wire itself is cleaner now. Really trying hard here to clean this because Looks bad, but maybe when it's, it's dry and I just put the Velcro back on top of it, it won't show anymore. Okay, so I think that for a first try, this is a good result. So I'm just gonna let it dry and maybe see tomorrow under sunlight how white this looks. So let me know what you think of this first attempt on my right shoe and uh, let's start cleaning the left one. Well, I'm done cleaning my shoes and I'm actually really surprised with the results. Combining the magic eraser with the whitening toothpaste actually gave pretty good results. It's pretty darn good considering these shoes were really really dirty and I kind of neglected them for at least a year and I did not manage to get this part here white, like it's still yellowish, greenish, um, but you know, maybe I'll invest some time and some, do some research to see how I can uh, get these plasticky parts white, but overall I'm pretty satisfied, both shoes look almost new, like they're white, I wouldn't be ashamed showing up to a ride with them, overall it was a great experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have really dirty white cycling shoes and you want to try my tricks, well, let me know in the comment section how it worked out for you. So two things about my attempt at cleaning my white shoes. The first one, don't do like me and don't wait two years before trying to clean them. I'm pretty sure that if you clean them on a regular basis, you'll get much better results. And the second thing is that I did not succeed at cleaning the plastic parts. So they still look yellowish and it really bothers me. So I think that this specific pair of shoes is kind of, you know, they've done their time. And I'm actually waiting for a new pair to show up. So 
all is good. So I really hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, give it a thumbs down. If you want to take part in those Instagram surveys, I strongly suggest you subscribe to my Instagram account. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.